in this discussion you can see how to use browse method and what is the parameter we have to pass and what is the written stack uh, going to the browser here you can see uh, there are a list of 14 students is available sorry school profile is available and if we are going to student profile you can see here total 16 students profile is available but let me start like in which situation we have to use browse method and what is the parameter we have to pass so going to the backend side creating one object self.env for the student profile and simply i am using here browse method and we are like normally this method using like this way like the model name the model name is like this one then after dot and the browse in browse we have to pass id of that record or we have to pass list of ids if you have a multiple ids then you have to convert into list and uh, you have to pass that list here in the first parameter let's see what happened if we are not providing any value in browse method so you can see here i'm getting null record set here so here i'm passing the existing record set id but for before that i have to verify like uh, the id is available or not okay we are using id 3 4 and 6 first of all we are using like this only three let's say i have an id of that student profile and if i will try to enter you can see here record set is available so after you can use that record set based on your convenient let's say for uh, sorry student list then after i have to pass like browse then after pass the id and uh, try to print this student underscore list variable and you can see it contains a uh, like a record set of the student profile so now i can do is like i can access anything like name then after total fees so like this way you can use this record set value and if what about uh, the multiple ids so for that one we have to use like this way three four and six so once i will try to press enter key before that one i'm just removing this stack map the variable as i map and you can see here the list of student is available like i returning the record set again with this three record three four and six if you want to use multiple like uh, if you are getting multiple list so you can also use for loop student in student underscore obj dot browse and here inside the browse we have to pass ids then after stud and you can see here you can use like this way so you have to remember one thing is here like browse method we have to pass either integer right like integer type or list of integer and for the written statement it's always written student like respective record set but yeah one more thing is let's say i have like in my database i don't have the fifth id in programming science sometimes it's happen like this stud underscore object having all this four record set you can see here it's appear like this way but if you are using like this way and try to print here record set having this fifth id but if you want to double check like this record set is really existing database side then we have to use one one more thing is like if stood dot exist then after print stood otherwise like print stood not found something like that 
so you can see here like this exist method we will cover in our upcoming session but right now you can see like if you want to double check like your record set is really existing database side then you can use this method otherwise uh, you can just leave it that record set that record so here you can see it's not found otherwise like it's coming like this statement like this if condition is satisfied the condition it's really exists so it comes to the if statement otherwise it's going to in else statement that's it for now so if you have any doubt please comment below and see you in next session